Hello, everyone. Um, it certainly is annoying if you lose uh, uh, your internet connection through like a storm or an accident, uh, something like that. But actually, uh, it's more than just annoying um, because so many of our devices today are require a connection to uh, the cloud in order to be uh, 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 able to work. An example is if you have a security camera or a, a, a video doorbell uh, and you lose internet connection, you have no uh, warning or access if uh, a bad guy uh, comes up to your house. Uh, also, if you have a, a smart house uh, that uh, uh, you've uh, put together, like to turn lights on and off, that will, won't work either if you have, uh, if you've lost your internet connection. So it's uh, somewhat important these days to have a, a secondary access to the internet. So I thought about um, how to implement something like this uh, in my own situation. And I happen to be a subscriber uh, to um, uh, Google's uh, uh, Project Fi uh, uh, wireless uh, or uh, cell phone and um, uh, along with the uh, Project Fi account you're entitled to a data only SIM card uh, for free and uh, that uh, SIM card will share the data that is, uh, is uh, with your account on, on uh, Project Fi. Project Fi is a product of Google uh, and uh, so I thought about that. I uh, thought that would be a very uh, a good way of getting a secondary uh, connection uh, to the internet uh, via uh, cellular data. And uh, so I, I ordered this. This is, it was free. It's a, it's a SIM card um, uh, that uh, allows you to access uh, data only through your uh, Project Fi account. And I also purchased a LTD uh, modem this happens to be the Netgear LTE uh, modem 2120. Let me see if I can get it into the frame here. And um, so this is what it looks like. And then finally, the uh, the Project Fi SIM card um, actually is a nano size card and the, uh, the uh, LTE modem requires a, a micro uh, SIM card. So I ended up ordering uh, this, which is an adapter, uh, let me move it over here so you can see it, and um, uh, it allows you to adapt the uh, uh, nano uh, um, SIM card to a micro SIM card so it can be uh, put in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the steps in order to get this uh, working, and uh, uh, hopefully it'll help you out because Really, there's no uh, tutorial on how to actually get your uh, uh, a Project Fi data only card uh, uh, activated with a particular uh, modem. Okay, the first step uh, you need to do is to activate the Project Fi uh, data only SIM card, and um, that's this is the web page that you need to uh, to go to. It's actually printed on the uh, the card uh, that has the uh, SIM attached to it. Uh, it's uh, fi fi dot google dot com forward slash data, and um, again that's on the card, so you know, have to write it down once you get the card. Okay, the card has a code printed on it. And so we're going to go ahead and enter that code. And, uh, and then I will be back. Okay, uh, we put in the, uh, the code and uh, this is the first screen after, uh, after, uh, Selecting activate, and if you notice, we have uh, we have Android and iOS. However, we're going to put this not in a uh, in another uh, of, of device uh, like a tablet or something like that. We're going to put it in a uh, LTE modem. So I'm going to select uh, have a different device, and uh, it says you your device may not work with the Fi SIM card. However, you can try these steps: insert the SIM card. 
Um, you, uh, again, if it won't fit, you need an adapter. And then configure the device. Uh, these are the general uh, steps only. There may may not apply or work on all devices. Access your device cellular network settings. Uh, look for a setting called APN, access point name. Add a new access point name for name entered project phi and for uh, the APN entered H2G2. And I know in advance that's the step that I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select this. And then we're going to continue. Uh, again, uh, we have uh, just some more information here that the um, uh, the data only sim will share the monthly data from our account and uh, uh, the network coverage uh, is quite extensive in Project Fi, includes a lot of foreign countries at no additional cost uh, if you were to take this uh, LTE modem uh, to uh, uh, you know Central America or uh, or England anything like that it would still uh, I would there wouldn't be a surcharge on your account Okay, we're going to clip one more. And this uh, this shows what my current uh, uh, account uh, is. I haven't used uh, very much uh, uh, data so far uh, uh, this month. So um, uh, that's, uh, that's about it as far as setting up the SIM card. And so uh, I'm going to stop the, the video right now, and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, I'm back again, and uh, actually I've been struggling to get the uh, SIM card into the modem. I finally got it uh, installed, and I'm not going to show you how I did it because I don't want to ha have to struggle again. But basically what you need to do, this is the, the uh, adapter that you have to use. I was thinking it was going to be a bigger adapter, but this is the one that you use. The uh, set that I got included multiple adapters like this and I actually thought this was the one I was going to be using. <clears throat> this is the key. And basically when you put this in, you, ha you have to slide this piece uh, in this direction and then it will fold up and then you can put the, uh, the card in and it's got to go in this way so that the little cut out is uh, on this side of the uh, the modem. But the thing is, is this is narrower than this tray. It, it seems like it's the wrong size. But when uh, when you put it in, uh, you can align it, and w when you fold this back down, you slide it this way to lock it. When you slide it that way to lock it, this butts up against the, uh, the uh, uh, corresponding uh, uh, diagonal piece at this end and it will lock in place uh, correctly. Uh, so I'm not going to show you how I did it, but uh, basically that that's the trick. And um, just I, I hope that help, will help people um, that uh, you know are struggling with this. Uh, actually, the original uh, adapter that I had uh, bought would have worked. That's this one here. That's let me show you the name of it. Uh, S F Y F I X. However, I couldn't figure it out uh, at, at that time, so I actually bought a different one. This is the one that I bought, the S A A P N I, and uh, this actually has some advantage over uh, the first one. The first one actually uses a double-sided tape here to try and hold it uh, in place. And actually, I could never get that double-sided tape to really stick stick the uh, SIM card in. However, uh, this uh, this one actually has a, a design. So when you put pressure on the, the Nano SIM, it actually snaps in. So it holds it uh, nice and tight in the adapter. So this is still probably the better brand to buy for this uh, this device. Okay, so what we're going to do is the next step will be to try and uh, and power this on. And I'm going to probably use a laptop to set it up because I have to enter the uh, APN uh, for uh, for the Google uh, Fi uh, uh, data uh, card. Okay, we'll be back shortly. Okay, uh, so we got the, the modem uh, all fixed up. We got the card in. I uh, have it plugged in and um, 
what I have I've done is uh, put an Ethernet cable in the yellow uh, uh, LAN port and uh, connected it to this old Asus uh, laptop. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, first of all turn on the the um, the modem and see if we get a signal. Okay, uh, so we got a, a signal here. Um, it's uh, oh, uh, we have uh, the, the green lights flashing, and we have the uh, uh, an amber light on the. Uh, uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, we have an a amber light uh, uh, sequencing here, and uh, I know uh, from reading the documentation that this usually means that uh, it can identify the um, uh, the uh, cellular provider. So we need to next turn on the, our uh, uh, laptop and uh, uh, see if we can uh, change the APN on the modem. Okay, uh, so we booted up the computer. <clears throat> then we had ran into a slight little problem. <clears throat> the uh, computer was set to access the uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi in the house, and uh, uh, since we're we're dependent right now on the the wired connection, I had to turn off the uh, uh, the wireless uh, uh, connection <clears throat> and then reboot the computer. Okay, it took a, a couple of tries, but uh, we finally got the um, <clears throat> the uh, a uh, sign in uh, page <clears throat> from the uh, um, uh, uh, the uh, LTE modem, and uh, so we got this. Uh, we need to sign in and key in our password. Okay, so uh, we're currently at the uh, at the uh, the main page of the um, uh, uh, interface for the. Uh, uh, LTE modem and uh, what we need to do first is we need to go into settings Oh, let me click this again And then we need to go into mobile And uh, then we need to select uh, let's see we need to select APN And uh, what we need to do now is we need to add a uh, APN. So we do add. Okay, actually I have, I've gotten it connected. What you should see is, you should see this is a green flashing light and uh, all green. I am... Um, I had trouble getting this to, to run. I tried to enter um, the Project Phi uh, uh, APN, and it didn't seem like it took uh, when I, I did an ad and then typed in the, the new uh, uh, API. So what I ended up doing is I actually went into the uh, T-Mobile uh, uh, edit, uh, the, T the APN for the uh, T-Mobile and actually edited it to force it to Project Phi and then I saved it. It still didn't look like it saved, but what I ended up doing is I completely rebooted um, the modem. I unplugged everything, including the Ethernet cable, and, um, uh, and then uh, let it sit for a while and then rebooted it and logged back on. And I started seeing uh, two APNs listed. Be before I did all that, uh, it it wouldn't. For some reason, it said it couldn't upload the uh, the the profile of of the new APN uh, to the modem. But after I played around with it the way I just um, mentioned, it it did. When I rebooted, it started to show the two uh, APNs. The the one that the default one that's just the T-Mobile, and then the Project Phi one. Okay, um, I hope that helps people in getting this uh, Netgear 2120 uh, up and running on their Project Phi uh, data-only SIM. Uh, it, it isn't easy, <laughs> but it, it does work uh, with this modem.
thought I'd uh, uh, show this uh, to, uh, it is connected to, um, uh, to a 4G uh, uh, connection uh, through T-Mobile. So it does uh, support the 4, uh, uh, 4G with the, um, the Phi um, SIM card. And uh, okay, we'll wrap it up there. And if you have any questions, uh, just uh, leave a comment.